Yeah. Okay. Hey, folks. I'm here with Gunnar Davies. What's going on, guys? Gunnar, thanks for joining us. Yeah, today. yeah, yeah. No problem. Saw so you're kicking some tires, Northwest Sports Show with you guys, huh? Yeah. Yeah, right. So, what can you tell us about the Alumacraft? Alumacraft? Well, we are actually located in St. Peter, Minnesota, right? We're one of the most trusted brands in the industry for our aluminum fishing boats, right? Okay. We offer over 70 different types of models, anything from your bass boats all the way to your walleye boats. So pretty much a variety, whatever you want to fish, we got it, right? Okay. So not just to fish too, we also like to stress the whole family's fishing forever. So we also do kind of like a crossover between fishing and it also doubles up as like a sporty like skiing type boats too with storage. Okay. So it's a pretty good deal. All right, well, this, take, go ahead. Yeah, so this boat here, we have our competitor 175. It's our Shadow Series. So it's a limited edition, right? And that's gonna come with all the, the matte black finish and the black interior. So it's a really sharp boat. Custom Eagle trailer. All right, what can you tell us about the, uh, the motor that's on back? And yeah, come back here quick. on the inside. So on the back here, we got the Evinrude. This is the 150 HO, and man, these things can kick. I've driven a couple of them last summer, and wow, I can't wait to get back out on them. The whole shot is insane. They're two-stroke engines, and they're fuel efficient, and they're geared up and ready to go straight from the dealership. So you pick it up, and it's already got 5,000 miles guaranteed on top. Oh, that's true. Without any warranty, yep. When, t- tell me, when did Evinrude change their design? I mean, I, I, I yeah. have like a 1984 Evinrude. And, right. You know, they switched the emblem. The, the right. Well, they're definitely trying to revamp their design. That's for sure. This is their G2 Generation 2 models. So what you're seeing here is just a new, fresher look. Okay. And it goes well with our Alumacraft Shadow Series, the black on black. That's another a another combination. Another key thing to notice too on these is our 2XB hull system. If you come back here, we got it's the 2XB hull system, right? So it's got an aqua dynamic hull design that's shaped to really cut that water and give you more maneuverability. Um, Larger spray rails, so you're gonna stay dry. And then also- Side view of that so you can see the angle comes. Kind of shiny, but you can see it. This is, you know, this is the boat and here's my finger. Right, yeah. So you've got uh, over an inch of splash right there, okay? Another key thing to point out too for you guys is uh, Alumacraft makes a double plated hull design. So you get twice the hull protection as like versus a competitor. Okay. So yeah, you're looking at twice the thickness on any hull thickness. Okay, right there. Right right here. Right here, yep. Okay, so there's the thickness of the hull. So most manufacturers use a single and you guys use a double. We're using a double. All right, tell us about some of the features on the inside. Just talk about it. These boats straight out the dealership come standard with four seats, which is nice because a lot of the other companies that compared to this model only offer three and if you know anything about it cheap seats are not cheap these things come fully loaded premium very good design and they also come with the whole pedestal to base so you can move them around and on these on this particular model you get six different pedestal bases so that you have six different got, places to pay, place that boat in here fifth one goes up here and then you got one up in the bow up in Front. Yep, that's correct. Okay. Another th- key thing too to notice, this is our sport. So that comes with a full walkthrough windshield, right? That you can pull over the side. Keeps you dry. There, we also offer um, our tiller version that will have no consoles and just the back for steering. And then we also offer a side console that will just have the driver's side windshield. Right. Let's walk around for a minute. I want to take a look at the driver's area. Okay, so what's under the Simrad? What's what's all that? In so there? what this is, it's a new it's a new thing we're doing for our 19. So what it is is you can have the option now instead of the classic old regular gauges that you'd see on like traditional boats, you can actually opt to get just the full screen inside digital. dash, digital dash. Okay, so here's my question about this. Now I've seen this coming out on boats yeah, yeah. in the last couple of years with the yep. full touch screen. It's like yeah, and you notice it on trucks a, too, it's starting to become like an interior for most vehicles. Oh yes, yes. And I've seen them on cars before, but I've seen them on a boat maybe ask a couple questions. One is, I'm, I'm used to fish finders. Yep. You know, I know you can get those screens wet, and but all the buttons on those are manual. 
so you never worry about your fish finder screen getting wet. What happens when a digital driver's information screen gets wet? Does the touch capacity change or? No, no, no. These things are waterproof. These things are built for that weather. Okay. Definitely, yeah. They'll take splashing. Yeah, most of them don't even sit within a wind windshield. They'll be up on front of the bow. Okay. Or in the back, but you don't have to worry about it getting wet because it's an Alumacraft and they okay. stay dry. And they stay dry. Yeah. All so right. No, no problem. Yeah, there. you had that straight from Gunner there. <laughs> yep. this, this is beautiful. I like that. Now the flooring. What can you tell me about the the, the flooring? I'm actually glad you pointed that out because we just um, changed our flooring for this year. So it used to be more of like a vinyl rugged feel, right? Which was more laid out. Now it's more of like a weave, more of a contemporary look to it. And also, it cleans up better. Does Easier it to sweep. These do, these do drain. If you look in the back, if you look at the sides, that's that's drainage. And if if you were to get it wet, yeah, they, it can flush yeah, out so the it back. So goes out the back. Yep, and it goes to the bilge. Yeah. Also for our council too, we got an upgrade on our standard uh, radios. So now you're gonna see an infinity in there, on an, on your standard models. So what that is, it links up Bluetooth, uh, FM, and AM radio. And we'll Gunnar, thank you very much for being yeah, yeah. with us on Two Guys in a Ride today. We appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, and guys. folks, remember, these boats were made in St. Peter, Minnesota. St. Peter. All home, right. Homegrown. Homegrown. Here we go.